easy for everyone. I'm a D3200. I am a Nikon. Food and beverage industry is a very difficult industry to be in because you just don't know what people like to eat. As of late, the burger craze has taken Malaysia by storm. As such, you know, lots of people have tried to you know, open their own burger place. My friend, Mr. Edmund Chan, my very good friend, has opened his burger place of his own. But it's a burger place with difference, you know. They make everything from scratch. The patties, the buns, everything. Let's go check it out. Hello. Back in hotel school, we used to call him seafood because he could do everything. Every, and seriously anything. Pastries, he could cook, he could bake, he could debone a chicken in one minute. This guy is for real, I'm not lying. You gotta meet Edmund Chan. How are you, sir? Hi, fine, thank you. <laughs> How have you been doing? Uh, fine, thank you. Alright, so, just tell me a little bit. Of, tell me a bit about uh, Nom Nom Chomper. Okay, basically, Nom Nom Chomper is a concept where we sell uh, burgers, fusion foods and also sandwiches. So one of our main attractions will be our homemade breads. Uh -huh. And everything we try to make it from scratch. Firstly, it's cost effective and we can control the taste. Hey, why do you choose to um, you know, tap into the burger craze? Actually now it's kind of a hot thing of burger right now in Malaysia, right now. Yeah, yes, so yes. and I'm thinking that there is no really a really true fresh burger that even the bread that we do it ourselves, the patty, we select the salads, we do the dressing all ourselves, we don't order from people. Wow. So I rarely see people do that, so I decided to, why not I do it myself? There's no preservatives as well, right? Yeah, exactly. Amazing. Everything from scratch, guys. You gotta believe it. Okay, so um, from what I know, you started off from a small shop in, in a university and now you have your own place, your own shop. Yeah. You know, how does it make you feel? It's very easy to be successful in Malaysia once if you are willing to work hard. So I'm kind of proud. Thank God I have my partner around here. He's actually in the back there wearing some stuff. So Joel, Joel. Here's Joel Tan, Hi. my partner. <laughs> he, he's also a very young guy. He's, in fact, he's very he's younger, like six years than me. He's on, he's only twenty two years old. All right. So why don't you just take me a tour of your place? Show me around, all right? Sure. All right, let's go. Okay. Oh, so welcome to the action area. This is where the magic happens, right? Exactly. Okay. So talk me through it. Okay. This this the bread mixer. Well, I mix the bread, the burger buns here, where the charcoal, the sesame, the sandwich bread, and this is where I bake it. Double deck oven. Yeah. This is actually depends on the quantity of the bread I bake. Mm -hmm. If I will bake a lot, then I will use this big oven. This oh, oven okay. is six watts, so it's very, very energy consumption. Mm -hmm. And this is like a sixth of the power. So it's about costing as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. That <laughs> energy is expensive. <laughs> so this is where we do the cooking. I see. So you can see these two induction cookers and double deep fryer. Fryers, yeah. Yep. I'm wondering why, why do you use induction cookers? Actually, induction will be more healthy, as okay. in there will be less char than the fire one. It's not healthy for the cook as well as the customers actually. This, this is the prep area, this is called the mincer. This is where also where the magic begins. I ordered my beef from Australia. Mm -hmm. uh, the secret of making a good pattern will be a double mince pattern. Oh, you One, mince it twice? Yes, you mince it twice. Okay, okay. So wow. the protein will be much more defined and uh -huh. be more, much more soft to eat. So this is how we cook the burgers. Okay. So this is yeah. a chick homemade chicken patty that I made. Uh, we use only chicken breast. So you just place it there. So I will use a slow fire, as slow as possible because the slower you cook, the more juicier it gets, the, ju oh. the juice is stuck in there. This is the side here, uh, this is where I pre-prepared uh, one of our signature dish, it's called the uh, Smokey Robinson. The Smokey Robinson, yeah, exactly. check that out guys. I smoke the patty in-house, uh -huh. where it's actually a kind of a simple French way of smoking items. Where I use tea leaves, brown uh -huh. sugar, brown sugar uh, rice, yeah, rice pepper, and yeah. exactly. So I already in here already for five minutes, so okay. I think it's fine. Okay. So the chicken is almost done, yeah? yeah? You can see the cheese is all, all, it's almost melt. Yeah, so that's really actually good. like a sign that inside is almost cooked. Right. Look at that! So here you go, uh, these are two burgers I do have here. Yeah? Cool. New York chicken, and this is the home smoke Smokey Robinson burger. Just look at that! Look, look at how huge the patty is. You know, look at the portion. It's huge, and it smells really good. And it's just, it's just amazing. And guess how much it is? It's only forty ninety. Under twenty ringgit. It's unbelievable for such a huge burger. And you know, you know everything is made from scratch. The buns, the patties, the the, the salads are all 
it's amazing. You, at this quality at such a price. Okay, it's a steal, guys. It's a definite. It's a definite steal. So can I? Can I? Can I eat now? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Have fun. Enjoy. No, this is really good. It is so good. You have to try, it, guys. Edmund said, thank you for having us. We know it's your, your off time, but thank you so much for having us. And this, these burgers are really, really good. Yeah, thank you. It's a pleasure.